Hello, it's Greg Ellis with Green Gregs coming to you on the 31st day of March 2021. Time on deck 20, 2200 hours Central Daylight Time. Guys, you're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe who China is in the snit with now. You're not going to believe who they're all, who 1.4 billion people in China, supposedly. I say that China, I mean the People's Republic of China uh, on mainland <laughs> China are in a snit with right now. They're in a snit with a certain government agency for uh, seemingly referring to Taiwan, the, the nation of the Republic of China, the nation of Taiwan as a country. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, they're in a snit with them. They're in a snit with somebody over that. And who would it be? Ladies and gentlemen, none other than NASA. <laughs> well, NASA didn't even directly call them a country. <laughs> they just had Taiwan listed in a thing called location. I want to show you all this. And, and uh, you know, it just so happens those locations were pretty coincident with being countries. So it kind of sort of somewhat implied it. But it got uh, the People's Republic of China, really the uh, Chinese Communist Party, all in a snit. Really? Wow. <laughs> China, but buckle up, buttercup. <laughs> Give me a break. By the way, the People's Republic uh, of China, what they're trying to do is they're trying to create this false narrative that Taiwan is a breakaway uh, province. China was uh, the Taiwan was never a province. The People's uh, the Republic of China was never a province. Uh, the People's Republic of China. Now, they're both Chinese people, now mind you, but the Republic of China predated the People's Republic of China. The People's Republic of China was the insurgency that got the upper hand and drove them out in the exile on the island of Formosa that we also know as Taiwan. So the official name of the, uh, of the government is Republic of China. They consider themselves Chinese. And until 1979, it was the China the United States recognized <laughs> instead of the People's Republic of China. Ah, maybe it should be that way again. Anyway, so <laughs> so they they uh they, they pre-existed. They didn't break away. They didn't succeed. They're not a renegade. It's just that the People's Republic of China wants to conquer them. You know, I've done a lot of videos about obsession, obsession, uh, oppression, and things like that. I'll show you a little bit of that. But guys, come on, give me a break. But you know what? This just shows how in a snit they are about this stuff. And just shows how they're trying to set the narratives to justify their invasion of Taiwan, which is probably what they're going to do. That's what a lot of people are thinking. I hope I'm wrong, but the, the, it's getting look more and more like that. We'll go more into this in the future, but it's really, really, literally look like they got a bug in their crawl to, to invade Taiwan. I hope Taiwan is really one prickly pro porcupine so much so that they'll have second thoughts. But it, it looks like they're kind of overcoming those second thoughts. It's a lot of things going on, my friends. This is why you got to get ready. This is part of your eyes wide open, your head on a swivel series I bring to you so you'll know that you need to be prepared for the things that could be coming to us in the future. The, the world today is nuts domestically right here in the United States. Internationally, we've got a lot of tension in the world. And um, guys, uh, we could get into it with China over this. This is a hot spot in NASA. Uh, oh, you're not going to believe what <laughs> it was all over uh, a contest for people to send their name to Mars on a Martian lander. Really? <laughs> An innocent little simple thing like that. And in, in fact, the little thing is uh, the offers already closed. I'll show you the website. I'll even show you. It's too bad we can't enter now. <laughs> but this is so petty. It is so petty. It's pitiful. Pitiful. CCP, you are pitiful. Hey, Xi Jinping, yeah. yeah I guess I'm on your blacklist. <laughs> you spy on all of us, don't you? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Social credit score, I'm like negative a million, I guess, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> you probably got my name up there. But anyway, guys, this is silly. But you know what it really tells you? You got to be prepared. You know, you're Go go get your beans and you know what else is you get to go with beans, right? <laughs> get your dried food, uh, learn how to eat in the weeds and trees. I got videos on that. 
And so to see my videos and eat from the weeds and trees and growing a garden, which you need to do for yourself, uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and bang the update notification bell and click off. So you get all my notifications for more things about what's going on overseas and domestically. Uh, I cover a broad range of stuff like that, which you really shouldn't do on a YouTube channel, but nevertheless, I do. <laughs> it costs me some subscribers because I'm a little too diverse. But otherwise, uh, it's what you need to know to get ready to be prepared for the times we're in. And with all that said, I also make special offers for you. You can get 20% off uh, either a four week supply, which is two of these, or one of these is a uh, two week supply of 25 a year lasting uh, freeze dried food, which is lightweight. You can store it, you can bug out with it. It's easy to carry around and it's got great little pouches you can put in your backpack so you can carry them. So I'm not going to go much in detail on that today, but just uh, bear in mind great savings. Go to printwithgreg.com for those savings. And there's a big My Patriot Supply logo there. You go into that, and you can find all kinds of prepping supplies in there. Helps my channel and helps you too because you need to get ready for kind of the crazy times we're in. Oh, if you want to grow your own garden, which you really should, time to plant now. Go to Tree Leaf Market. Links below in my channel notes and my show notes. Just use my link to Tree Leaf and it'll help me. It won't cost you a penny more. All right, my friends, I'm going to show you the website. In fact, I found this not on all the United States stuff. I found this in Hindustan times. <laughs> really? I mean, some things just don't even make news here in America. It's funny where you got to find news sometimes, but this one really stood out. So I, I got to show you this, guys. I just got to show you. Got to show you this. Hindustu, Hindustan times. NASA is the latest to offend China by calling Taiwan a country. Well, really, they did. <laughs> <coughs> And so it says NASA is the latest organization for it says foreign in a string of organizations to upset the Chinese Communist Party, essentially. So they're talking about they kind of refer repeating that there. And it says the US space agency has hurt the feelings of Asia's this Asian countries, 1.4 billion people. Really? Yeah, I don't think most people have ever got their feelings hurt. <laughs> Just the CCP, Chinese Communist Party, most likely. But uh, Mr. Zhu Feng Lan, a spokesperson for the Beijing office that handles matters related to domestically ruled, the domestically ruled island. So I guess their affairs for trying to take over Taiwan uh, is the one who spoke out on this. And he said the space agency that NASA needs to correct its mistake as soon as possible. Who's China to tell us this? Who are they to tell us this kind of stuff? Hey, uh, Zhu. Go, go pound sand, buddy. <laughs> he said this at a regular press briefing Wednesday at Beijing. A commentary published by uh, People.CN on Monday described the incident as unforgivable. Unforgivable. Oh, my gosh. Unforgivable. This, this website is run by the People's Daily, a Communist Party mouthpiece, as everything over there is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can you believe it? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to show you this. So, you know, rather than read all this stuff here, let's see. Uh, foreign companies often get in trouble with the Chinese government over political issues. Really? Who's China to be dictating everybody on earth? Oh, yeah, they're the world's masters, aren't they? they they're the world's wannabe masters. Yeah, yeah, so what? When they take over this country, I'm in deep kimchi. <laughs> yeah, kimchi is a North Korean dish, although China tried, tried to claim that too. Oh, my gosh. Actually, that's a good dish. <laughs> Yeah, uh, some people use it to make fun of it. So yeah, you know, you can't be making fun of the Uyghurs and all that kind of stuff either. But you know, hey, I might be better. The Uyghurs might be better off than me when Xi Jinping gets a hold of me, right? <laughs> hey, there's good people in every country on earth, every city, every hamlet, from every race, religion, background, creed, you name it. There's good people. It's just that it's not always the best people in the world up running countries <laughs> or companies or you know any kind of government. Agency. You know, they say it floats, right? Sometimes you get good people, but <laughs> like I said, it floats. And when you have a one-party system, corruption is, goes rampant in communist systems. Yeah, show me a case where that's working out so well. And I, the only people that want to be part of that seem to be our college students. <laughs> All right, here it is, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the offensive site from our dear, beloved Jet Propulsion Laboratory, no less. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And so you can come in here. And you can subscribe and, and send your name to Mars. 
Let's see, I think I got it. And here's, and when you hit the link, this is where you go to send your name to Mars. But the problem is, is this is already, uh, this is already a closed contest or whatever it is now to send your name. If you'd put your name in here, I don't think they're going to allow you to do it now. But here's what the, here's what the issue is. Location. It doesn't say nation. It says location. And it just so happens that uh, Taiwan is one of the locations. Big deal. It should say nation and leave Taiwan in there. <laughs> it don't. It just says location. Wow. Okay, well, these appear to, be, appear to be mostly nations. Taiwan being a nation, amen, <laughs> which is a nation that's under the, the threat of invasion by somebody who wants to call them a break, falsely accuse them of being a breakaway province. Wow, okay, yeehaw. So, guys, you know, I've done all these videos. My precious, you're mine. Now, these obsession possessions where people think they should control someone else. No one has the right to control anyone that doesn't want to be a part of them. I just mentioned in a previous video about Taiwan. 57% of the people there uh, want Taiwan to be free as fast as possible from the CCP. And, you know, the PLA and the People's Republic of China, they don't need a part of it. 54%. That's a pretty good majority. That's a bigger majority than what usually decides elections in the United States. Moreover, only 12.5% want to reunite, reunify with China in a quick manner, which means under the CCP. And even that number, if they were given a choice, do you reunify under the force of invasion? How many of those would say yes then? I bet that would be a much smaller number. Oh yeah, do you want to be invaded by China to be reunified? Let's see what that number is then when it's put that way. So no, China, you don't have a right to go and take in other people. You didn't have a right to take Tibet, Tibet. You didn't have a right to take Xinjiang, the, 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 the nation of the Uyghurs. Uh, Inner Mongolia, you should let them go. In fact, it, using your logic about how you once you might have conquered something or had something or, 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 or you looked across the border and gazed after it wantonly and because a Chinese person looked at it, you know, by all that kind of logic, you should belong to Mongolia. China, surrender to Mongolia right now. Mongolia owns you. <laughs> Because Genghis Khan conquered you. <laughs> of course, you try to claim him too. No, China. Genghis Khan was a Mongolian. <laughs> uh, yeah, China, China, just like they're trying to claim kimchi. All right, my friends. So enough of all that. Enough of all that nonsense. China's trying to claim kimchi trying to, and getting upset all in a snit and telling NASA they had to fix this problem immediately. No, they don't. You don't own NASA. You don't own NASA. Listen here, CCP. You don't own the Earth. You might think you do, but you don't. You don't own everything that one of your people happened to gaze to, uh, at or, or, or read a book about or, you know, dream about. You don't own it. You don't have the right to possess. No people has a right to possess another people against their will. None. And, you know, we can redraw a lot of political maps on that basis, and we should. No one has the right to possess another person, a group of people, against their will. None. Bar none. Period. Anything else is a crazy obsession, possession obsession, and it's nonsense. Get over it. it you do not have that right. You're greedy and you're a bully. Back down and be nice. Play nice, please. Now, it's kind of hard for you to do, isn't it? <coughs> I'm going to cover that in a future video. <coughs> that very topic. Why it's so hard for Taiwan, I mean, for uh, China to back down on that and their claim to the Nine Dash Line, the, the, the South China Sea, and why that is very likely to lead to a conflict. They've kind of painted themselves into a box with the rhetoric they've established within their own country. And that's a shame. That's a shame. I hope we can avoid conflict. And as I mentioned in the previous video, if we can avoid conflict for just a few decades, you know, the dragon will just kind of go away, maybe. <laughs> At least not have the, the teeth it's got and claws it has today. So, because it's it, it, demographically, China's aging. It's aging faster than any other country. <laughs> 
that's to our side, but that also may be putting them in desperation. They know their time is short, so they might be more willing to do things and take more chances than they ought to. That's the peril. But if we can just kind of hold it off and keep every, the lid on everything, keep the world cool, then we can, if we can get through all this without a conflict, then it may be smooth skating, my friends. But we're in a dangerous time right now. I'm not making light of it. We are in a very dangerous time. And it's not known yet how we're going to get through this time. It's not. This is a book not written. There is a book of revelations. If we're in a book of revelations, it might look something like this. You know, Red Dragon. Hmm. Yeah, I think I heard something about a Red Dragon. Beast rising out of the sea. Yeah, there's a lot of that in there. So I don't know, my friends. Um, we're, we're in perilous times, but we can get through it. And even if it hits the fan in the end, we win. Uh, but how rough the ride's going to be, I, I can't say that. It could be very rough. It could be very, very rough. You know, read the book of Revelations. Yeah, it tells a rough story. So, but we don't know the day and the hour. We, you know, we, we tend to think that we're at that age and we don't even know that for certain. Don't even know that for certain. I mean, yeah, a lot of us convinced of that, but you know, people have been convinced of that all throughout history. And they've all had good reasons. <laughs> Excuse me. Something's irritating me here. <laughs> Maybe I smell a little CCP dust. That's it, CCP. There must be something in this house made in China. Hope oh, it's not my space shuttle. <laughs> oh, this is made in the Philippines. Oh, very good. <laughs> okay, this wasn't it. <laughs> hmm. My NASA space shuttles are made in the Philippines. <laughs> All righty. So, hey, who knows? Maybe one of these days, Philippines will have a space program. <laughs> they got a little ways to go there, right? All right, my friends, you never know. They may be the top of the world one day. <laughs> All right, my friends, just say, hey, guys, uh, let's, let, let's, let's hope we keep the world cool till this all blows over. And I know you watched it to this point. And uh, be the, you know, like I always said, light dispels dark and love dispels hate. Go out and shine your love light to the world. I think that's the biggest answer we can come up with to, to uh, mitigate all the hatred and stuff going on. So thank you for watching.